Radical. I may be looking for a dedicated flea market vehicle. Several reasons. One, the Impala. Well, I don't like putting the Impala through the paces of flea marketing on the weekends. I've already noticed with some of the items that I packed into the Impala. I mean, heck, I just told you all that I actually busted one of my kicker subwoofers. But, um, you know, that's mostly on me for uh, still leaving the subs in the car while I was hauling things. You know, I was just trying to cut some corners and save some time. And I didn't like having to take my subwoofers out and then put them back in the trunk. But when I say good through the paces, I mean like the little kind of scrapes that you see here and there on the interior of a vehicle. And that's not a good thing. It's not. Because, well, I'm trying to pack in as much as I can to sell as much as I can to, you know, give people as much as they have to look at at the flea market. I think it's a waste if you put your money down to, you know, take a couple things to the flea market to sell. No, I'm trying to do it like a whole store setup. And it's hard to fit a store into a vehicle that was not meant for that, the Chevy Impala. But I think I might have found a beater, possibly, for my flea marketing needs. Now, you see right here, and I'll do like a little slideshow of a possible flea market vehicle. Might be perfect for this because I'm looking for something I'm not really paying a whole lot more, you know, a whole lot for because you can't, it defeats the purpose of a flea market vehicle to put, you know, you know, so much money into a vehicle that you're just going to use to take to the flea market. You know, you're not going to really drive it that much. And what you see here is a PT Cruiser. Now, the P2 Cruiser is kind of a joke of a vehicle. It really is. But I know there's a dedicated community of people that actually take these. They modify them. I've seen a couple modified. And they still kind of look crap. It's just the design was just, well, terrible. But it's kind of a design that even though it's terrible and it's fugly, like, you just gotta, you got, gotta love how Chrysler committed to the design. And the interior you see here is not that bad. I think this one's got leather seats. You got a sunroof there. I, I mean, I'm just looking here, and this guy, this guy or gal, whoever owns this, they love this vehicle. They put a lot of love in this. And you notice the, uh, the blue exterior and the interior touches there. I mean, still a fugly-looking car, specifically on the outside. The inside's not bad. But look at there, baby. That is why I would get this. You can actually fold down the rear sheets also. And at the price point they're wanting on this vehicle, I probably wouldn't get this one because they want $3,600. It's well kept. It's one owner. It's only got, uh, well, I'll read you the description here. Selling my one owner 2005 PT Cruiser with only 105,000 miles. It's in excellent condition all over. Has a very clean and well kept interior. That it does. It comes factory with chrome wheels, power sunroof, and leather suede seats. Everything is in excellent working condition, including the heat and AC. It's a great running car with no issues, even though it's a Chrysler. Uh, maybe this is like a, a unicorn. It's a uh, recently inspected. I have a clean title in hand, asking thirty six hundred. I mean, to me, like this is more like a maybe twenty six hundred dollar car, just because it's a you know. Crosser PT Cruiser, although only 105,000 miles. I oh, don't know. This is, I mean, look at that. Look at that's beautiful paint right there. It's well kept paint. It's got chrome rims. Uh, you know, but it's not a beater. I don't know if it fits my specification for a flea market vehicle because I was honestly looking for something kind of like a beat up old truck. Like, like a beat up old truck, maybe like a small truck, like a Tacoma. Uh, an older Tacoma would, would be perfect. It would be absolutely perfect. I saw a Tacoma the other day. I was going to offer this man some money cash for it, but he was holding on to it. It might have been uh, a very hard to find Tacoma. I think it was maybe like an early 90s, late 80s Tacoma. Had like the bars on the bed. It was such a small truck, so you could fit it anywhere, meaning, well, that's a, a factor too. In the flea market, sometimes you're, you're, you're packed in. The cars are very, it's tight, so it's kind of hard to park, just depending. So this right here might have a small form factor, yet the back is really high. Uh, also, I was thinking about a Scion XB or like a Nissan Cube, specifically the Scion XB. But there's a problem with Toyotas. They're not Chryslers. A, uh, 
a Toyota Tacoma in this kind of condition, same year, would be two to three times as much, mostly because, well, it's a Toyota. Um, I keep going back and forth in this, so I wanted some feedback. To a lot of you that do flea marketing, do you have dedicated flea marketing vehicles? It's just kind of, you know, you notice how dedicated I am to this whole flea marketing thing. The fact that I'm looking up possible dedicated vehicles for this. Um, also, that 3600 might be because, you know, well, it's a car crisis, uh, a car shortage right now. We're in a car crisis, also inflation. So I don't know. Could this possibly be at 105,000 miles at 3600 a good deal?